I know you're hard at work at Pinocchio, um, and obviously I cannot wait to see it. Uh, for fans of yours, uh, what would you like to tease them about the project? What do you want them to know about Pinocchio? Well, it, it, look, it's it's a very it's a very 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 personal movie for me. The two the flip sides for me have always been Pinocchio and Frankenstein, of the same story, because essentially that's the same story, you know. Uh, and 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 the idea of uh, a Pinocchio that talks about uh, things that I consider very deep, but it's fun and it's a musical at the same time. But I find it really, really incredibly moving. Obviously, in animation, you get to see the movie in storyboards beginning to end many, many times, and then you add the stop motion. And right now we are about 50% animated and 50% in storyboards. And every time I watch the movie, I just sob like, like a baby. You know, it's, it's as personal as it gets, as moving as it gets. And it's not, a, it's not, it's unlike any other version of the story you've ever seen. It's completely unlike it. And, 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 and it's a bird. It subverts the the moral underpinnings of the original fable, which uh, which is in order to be a real boy, you gotta change, and you gotta become flesh and blood, and you gotta become. This is about becoming a real boy by by acting, a real human, I would say, by acting like a real human. Period. Do you, do you think it'll be out uh, like a year from now or? Oh yeah. No, the movie will come out last quarter of 2022. So it's, it's curious because uh, it's been almost five years since Shape of Water. And now uh, it's gonna be two movies in a row, one after the other. I fucking love it. <laughs> I'm just, just being honest with you.